Hello everyone, uh, just a reminder, this is the updated version of By Moonlight Part 2. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. I just wanted to get that out of the way. And welcome back to another video, aka Moonlight. I just died. So, and I figured out that I didn't save my game. So, me dead. And, okay, so. Ooh, wait, wait there's a gallery. Let's look at the gallery. Okay, so. I died. I don't. I don't even know what that was. Okay, just skip over this, please. Um. Yeah, I died <laughs> by this weird guy because I was trying to help him, and uh, I ended up dying. <laughs> so skip. Skip. So this guy, he, um, he, he killed me. <laughs> um, save. Now, let's save. And I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shed some light. You rustle through your new bag and pull out a sh flashlight. Flip it up and point it in the direction of the skeleton. I guess you could call this a light bulb moment. You sweat nervously. Back home, your jokes typically fall flat. You were about to apologize for making a pun, but you hear their bones rattle with laughter. The, sk <laughs> the skeleton literally cracked a smile. That would be fantastic! You pan the flashlight around. You're immediately surrounding your until half of the body arms around into and and their elbow socket flexing multiple times to make sure it was in good condition. The skeleton grins. Terminating the problem the answer to my problem. You stiffen a laugh. I guess I'm a bit bright at times. This guy wanted to follow up with another pun, but seems to be at loss and switches topics. It coughs. <laughs> I seem to forgot to introduce myself. My name is Mar Maro. Maro. My name's Maro. Not Sans. <laughs> <laughs> I got the feeling I've just been vaguely insulted. But. <laughs> and you are. Luna, paranormal investigator at your service. You do a clumsy bow and hear rattling laughter again. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's rare to find some. One with a good, with a good humor nowadays. Mara pauses for a second before clapping their hands together with a sudden realization. Wait, paranormal investigator, you say? You must be the one helping out with Hans. You give a tired laugh. That's me. Just a regular old-fashioned headhunter. You give a slight sigh. Honestly, it would have been a lot better to know that you were getting into before signing a contract with a witch you barely know. I mean, sure, you finally get an encounter that par that, that paranormal, but this really wasn't the way you thought it would it was it was going to happen. Or what what you thought you were going to be like 
we're going to... You look back up and see now Marlo is in deep thought. You know I may not be talking... You, you know, I may not be talking to Hans that often. Because he's a unique personality. But I still care about him. After all, we are the only two people in this house who struggle with losing their heads occasionally. Part of you want to question that Maro, Maro's definition of people is, but you stop yourself and think that's prob that bleh, that'd probably be insensitive. Okay, I think I understand his name. But maybe it's marrow? Bone marrow? Is that? Yeah, bone marrow? I think that it might be marrow, actually. Yeah, bone marrow. You know, play on words. But you stop yourself. Marrow's teeth start to chatter nervously. I. I may not be able to help much with searching since I don't want to run into Siba in intact. <laughs> but, well, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. That means a lot. Thank you. Where to start? Let's get personal. Glasses. This isn't necessarily relevant, but... Why do you wear glasses if you're a skeleton? I mean, no offense, but you don't have eyes. I can see why you might think that, but... Mero points towards the top of their skull in sight. It's deadly. In sight. I don't know. See that crack? Yes. It is lightning shape yet, right? I don't like Harry Potter. I mean, yeah, but what does that have to do with... Well, you see, Iris lent me some biography books. And in one of them, there's a famous wizard who wears glasses and a, light and has a lightning scar. <gasps> yep, Harry Potter. <laughs> wow, that's cool. You don't have the heart to tell him <laughs> about that. It's fictional. You wonder, you wonder if this Irish person messes with Mar, Mar Marrows, frankly. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll say because I really don't want to have to do this all again. Hans' personality. Let's do the skeleton life. Were you always a skeleton? Were you always human? Yes? No? Maybe so? The skeleton gives a soft, raspy chuckle before looking down. Honestly, I don't remember anything before I w was at this mansion. If I was happy, if I had a family, what I looked like, am I a decomposed human? Or was I created this way? Or maybe my life was just that insignificant. You want to <laughs> offer some consolation, but the word word seemed caught in your throat. Marrow's marrow might physically just be a mass of bones, but you feel that they still have a heart. Ah, sorry. That got a way off track. Do you want any do you have any other questions? Should I ask about Han's personality? What's weird about Han's personality? Well, it isn't weird. What is it weird about? Mero clears their throat. I mean, well, he's a Dulahan, so that only the only special ability he has would be doing stuff without his head. But, but, I'm not sure if there's any other way to explain this. To be quite frank, 
He talked about sealed power and his arm. Having a dark lord eye fighting his secret, secret society. That's creepy. <laughs> like, could you imagine that? I'm gonna turn this up so you can hear me a little better. Okay. It all started when he started watching those. What do you call them? Those foreign kid cartoons. You steer into the distance with a deep sense of emptiness. Those are classic signs of Chuni Bayou. Eighth grader syndrome. Anime. <laughs> say that you aren't into it but who are you kidding your hair is pink <laughs> you just really want to switch topics let's move on let's move on let's move on <laughs> oh before I get forget I heard you last see Hans let's see I think he was heading to the library to look up sewing capes, but he's a very impulsive individual, so I wouldn't be surprised if he changed his mind somewhere along the way. You groan. Tracking down such an unpredictable, ind unpredict unpredictable person is, a sl is slowly becoming more and more of a pain. Mero notices that you are in are distraught and hurriedly tries to lighten the mood. I, I might not know where Hans is, but I certainly know where the library is. Let's see. Morrow fiddles with his fingers. I'm gonna save it. Popping one off, one part off, and putting it back on again while lost in thought. Yes, yes. I believe that is just a, uh, I believe that if you continue straight down this way, uh, this hallway, and knock on the door, the right door, a couple of times, it should get you there all in one piece. They give you a sweet smile. Mystical librarians uh, grow more fickle with time, so be sure you follow the directions properly, okay? You nod and pick, pick, picking up, up your bag set off in what you assume to be the right direction. So I'm going to the library. Just as instructioned, you continue down the hallway. It's a new it's quite a long stretch, so you observe the details around you to pass the time. Cobblestone. Marble. The floor material seems to shift with every step you take, but maybe it's just your imagination since sealed it off. You find a sequence of doors. Now, save because. One's gonna kill me. Okay. I'm not, I don't know if I trust Morrow yet, but bone, bone, Marrow, not Morrow. You figure that if anyone knows what to do to get to the library, it'd be from somebody who lives here. After knocking on the right door, the middle door opens. Save. Now, I'm not gonna save it because what if something happens and I die and I just, you know. Open the right door. You fell torn and uh, hope that the right door to some sort of pun for being the right door. <laughs> Your logic makes no sense. Regardless, you stick to your decision and nervously tug on the door in front of you. It swings open, thankfully revealing the library! 
You heave a sigh of relief and walk in. Hans? Hello, is anyone there? You're met by silence and laugh quietly to yourself. Well, you may be amazed by how many volumes of books there are on the first floor alone. Oh my god, the music though. You don't want to spend too much time here if there was no leads. It would be pretty useful for the investigation later, maybe. Please come along a new character. Oh my god, it's a kitty. Oh my god, it's a kitty. Okay, I'm gonna save it here. Because I keep saving. And I think I'm gonna end this video here. Now I'm gonna make a part three and continue this, but this is all you get to see because ha! <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just, like, I'm actually enjoying myself with this. I didn't think I would like this so much, honestly, but I think it's, I'm actually starting to really like it, and I think that I'm going to continue this series whether you guys like it or not, and I hope you really do enjoy this video, because... I really like making these. This is I actually like making these more than the Delta Rune series, and I really enjoyed myself making the Delta Rune series a lot. So stay tuned for part three. A peace. Yeah, I'm on the back.